And good evening. Somewhere in Milwaukee, there is a fish fry tonight, but this one place has been serving up fish for seven decades. But a long time West Dallas restaurant restaurant finds itself caught in a struggle of rising costs and short supplies. Rebecca Clough goes in depth on why the West Dallas fish market is closing its doors for good. The West Dallas fish market has been in the community for more than 70 years. Its last fish fry is going to be one week from today. Then it will permanently close its doors. The lunchtime crowd is a little sad and nostalgic as they enjoy a Friday fish fry to go. It's the best fish ever. I, it's phenomenal. I've been coming here since I was a little kid. My mom says she used to walk here from like a mile and a half away when she was little in the 50s and pick up fish for Friday night. I've been in the neighborhood for 50 years and they've just got the freshest fish and I always buy the fresh and fry it at home. The West Dallas Fish Market almost feels like a barber shop. After placing your order, you head to one of the few wooden chairs on the wall. You uh, order your fish, yep. take a seat. Yep, take a seat, uh, wait for it. It's usually like five, seven minutes and uh, and it's up, it's hot, it's fresh, it's very good. It opened in 1950. In the 90s, Bev Rogie and her husband bought it. Now their daughter, Melissa Thompson, runs things. The family says their profit margins are next to nothing, despite booming sales during the pandemic. With the cost of everything, it's just, it's just not doable anymore, not real profitable. How much can you raise the prices before you end up not selling anything? Melissa says prices for everyday items nearly doubled. Takeout containers went from $10 a pack to 17. Why? A shortage of raw material during the pandemic made them harder to come by. Cooking oils went from $23 a can to 43. And when you need six cans just to turn on the fryers, things get expensive quickly. The cost of oil has been skyrocketing for a mix of reasons. Weather and areas that produce the oil, rising global demand, and COVID. Melissa's menu board reflects those troubles. You can see how prices have changed and the items they can't get are covered up. I haven't had catfish in like two months. Some of the supplies are just getting harder to come by. The National Restaurant Association says 95% of restaurants have been affected by supply chain issues and 76% are doing worse now than they were three months earlier. For Bev, it means an early retirement, but she hoped that the restaurant would be passed on in the family to their daughter. All right, we'll see you then. All along, we thought we would give, you know, that she would inherit the fish fry business here, but um, with everything going on, it just isn't working out. The community is coming in and saying their goodbyes and thank yous to a business and a family they enjoyed for decades. I'm going to miss them terribly. The last day for the West Dallas Fish Market is next Friday, October 22nd. They say they are considering reopening as a food truck, but they haven't made any decisions yet. You can follow them on Facebook for any updates. Reporting in West Dallas, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.